that dryness in your body, in your mind, your heart, he will pour out in you. He will, he will pour out. He will pour water in your body. Like, he's just a great guy like that. Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, today I'm going to just, you know, share what's on my heart, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just, I don't know, but you know, we just gonna get to it. So, um, so today I was in my Bible app, you know what I'm saying? And I was, um, I don't know why I was in my Bible app. I was looking for something, but it found me. <laughs> Y'all not ready. Okay, so, um. So I'm gonna read what what caught my attention and then what I read and then you know blah 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 blah. So I said, God has placed something new in me. It's weird and uncomfortable, but I know who it's from. And I know it's good for me. So I will endure to the end. Nothing happens when you stay comfortable. Nothing happens when you stay comfortable. When you in your own little box, you try to like get away from things, you know what I'm saying? But if you're like trying to work in the Lord, things are supposed to come your way because you don't know if you're supposed to give them a word. You don't know if you're supposed to give them a hug or just to hear their story or just like to hear what they got to say. Like you never know what God wants you to do until you get out of your box until you get out of your comfortability. You know what I'm saying? You just got to you got to you got to step out. Step out on faith, you know what I'm saying? Like I said in my last video, you just gotta, you can't stay comfortable for the rest of your life. I mean, where you gonna go? What you gonna do? Just stay in your box and watch Netflix? Mm, you can't do that. You can't do that 24 seven every day. You know what I'm saying? It's not healthy. Um, but anyway, and then when I was on the Bible app, I saw um, an image they have like these images with like scriptures on it and it touched my heart. And so it says, it's Isaiah 43 and 19. It says, for I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. He's already begun. Like he already took, his oh God. Do you not see it? Can you not see it? Cause you in your box, you can't see it cause you in your box. You watching Netflix, you can't see it. Okay, and then it says, I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. The dry wasteland, there's nothing there, but he put a rip, ah! He created rivers, plural, multiple, more than one. He put more than one river in a dry wasteland. Y'all, come on. He does so much for you and me out of nothing. I don't know how, I don't know why, but actually I do know why, cause he loves us. He loves us enough to give us something. It may just be like the mustard seed size, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it'll be that, that small of a something will give us abundance. Ha. Ah. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just rambling right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like super excited. And I don't know why I'm excited, but I'm excited because I know God is working. He's working in my life. He's changing me. Like he's changing me. He's changing me. He's changing me. I'm doing this video in front of y'all. Like, ah. so I wanted, I wanted to be multiple things. But when I got to college, I wanted to be an art teacher. And when I came back home, I started working for a daycare and a preschool. And then I was like all around these kids for like, I want to say maybe two or three years. And then I'm like, nah, this ain't for me. I don't want to be an art teacher. I don't want to do this. So then I went back to college and I was taking this English class and we had to research on something that we wanted to have more information on or something. I don't know. And then I came across art therapy and that like, it like widened my horizons. Like I love art so much. Like I love it so much. 
And I think I really love it because it helped me through a rough time. And I just want to do the same thing for other people. And so I was taking all of these classes to become an art therapist and it didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? It didn't work out, but God still made ways for me to help people through art and just to show art to people. Like for some people, art is just like the most wackiest thing in the world. They think it's like, it's not valuable. It's, it's not worth money or anything like that. But I wanted to show people that it is something. It does help people. It is something for some people. Like it's a thing. And so that's really what, it, really what I wanted to do but I just felt like I couldn't do it because I don't have my master's in art therapy. So I'm just like, how am I supposed to do this? And I don't have the credentials that I need. And then I was reminded that you have your credentials in Jesus name. <sighs> you have your credentials in Jesus name. You have everything that you need when you put God in your life, when you allow him to do things in you, when you allow him to change you, when you allow him to to mend your broken heart and just your brokenness all together like when you get baptized and when you get saved in jesus name you're a whole new person like i am no longer 2012 somalia i am 2019 somalia i am not the same person that i was before i got saved like i came out of the water a brand new person and like that's amazing like like I can no longer hold my past to the person that I am today because he's forgiven me he's taken away my sins he's taken away all the things that has happened and all that stuff like I still have to work through it and I still have to learn from it but it's no longer attached to me because God is attached to me like he's a part of my life and in order to be in order to be righteous and a woman of God, I have to be like Jesus. I have to love people. I have to have open arms for people. I can no longer judge people for how they look or just how they live their life because that's not what Jesus did. That's not like, that's not God. That's not of God. Like, I'm, you, you're going to be changed. And so to get back to what I'm saying, credentials in Jesus name. Okay, so like I was I was worried that I couldn't do what I wanted to do because I didn't have the criteria or the things that I needed in order to be an art therapist. But then he like, nah, sis, I got you. Just keep doing your thing. Make sure I come first because he, he is God then everything else. Yeah, it's up. Okay, and <laughs> so like painting events, teaching art, and then through my job, I like sometimes I would do art with them, even though that's not a part of my job. But for for an example, I had a client maybe like maybe a week or two ago, and I needed to pass some time with her before she could take her nap. And so we just started doing art and she just like started creating the stuff. And I'm just like, yo, you good. You really good. And it just really, it just really showed me that this is what I really want to do. I really want to help God's people through art. And I'm just like, you don't need. You don't need. I create you. See, that's, don't quote me. I, what I'm trying to say is to do some, ah, what am I trying to say? I don't necessarily need a degree to do what I want to do because God is placing all of these things in my life to where I can help. I can serve his people through art. And that's really what I'm trying to say. Like he creates things out of nothing. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. That's there's nothing there because it's dry. It's just cracks in the dirt. Like, it's just cracks in the dirt and maybe some dead trees. Like, he put rivers in the, put rivers in the dry wasteland. Like, he can do so much 
when we allow him to be a part, to be in our lives. Like he does so much when we open our hearts for him to come in and do what he do. You know what I'm saying? Like just working, just working in your heart and in your mind. Like, y'all, he's just a great God. Like he, oh God, he's just a great God. And that's really what I wanted to say. Like, just allow him to do what he's trying to do. Just allow him to love you. Allow him to mend your brokenness. Allow him to help you through helping others, serving others. Just allow him to be in your life. Just allow him to rest. If y'all have any prayer requests, for real, for real, just hit me up on any of the social medias that I'm going to link in the, the description below. And I'm going to leave on that. Bye. Like, who can stop the Lord Almighty?